Oh, banana. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I might as well go live. You uh, get to see the uh, nice sunburn that I got. Right there. I just missed part of my forehead. I am here. I am exhausted. Uh, that makes two of us. But I'm just exhausted because I didn't get very much sleep. After I stream this, I'm going to go back to bed. Uh, but hopefully it'll be worth getting up for. I know some of these have not been. I think the first partner showcase they did was pretty disappointing. I, I think they announced that WWE Battlegrounds game, but they also announced or showed off Shin Megami Tensei 5, which wasn't a big deal for me, but was a big deal for a lot of people. I'm like, this is like an E3 one, so probably be worth it. Uh, but yeah, I I think some stuff is kind of leaked already. Like, I think it's all but confirmed that Persona is coming to the Switch. I assume E3P, P4 Golden, and Persona 5, hopefully Royale, but, uh, who knows. And then I think Mario and Rabbids is going to be there, uh, they announced a release date for it last night, and there were new screenshots, I think, on the eShop, so I think it just went up a little early, and then I think the next Nintendo Switch free game trial is, uh, is Mario and Rabbids one, so it's probably uh, coming to the Switch. Otherwise, though, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect. Like other game, like big third-party games that I know that are coming out for the Switch are like Bayonetta three. Um, that's about it. I mean, most of the big games that are coming out for Switch that people are excited for are Nintendo-made games, because 
I don't think third-party developers aren't developing a lot for the Switch, but it's mostly like indie, or it'll be surprise announcements of games coming to the Switch that hadn't already been there, so it's hard to really like know what to expect. I know there's a rumor about um, Red Dead Redemption coming to the Switch. I heard people talking about um, native ports of Kingdom Hearts. I highly doubt that's going to happen. Uh, and I really doubt Red Dead Redemption will come to Switch, and if it does, I wouldn't be that excited because those GTA remasters they did recently were, like, very poorly done. So who knows? I don't expect a big turnout for this either, just, just because it's uh, so early in the U.S. This is where most people that watch me are from. But that's fine. I still thought, you know, I thought it was like, you know what, we'll set an alarm, we'll get up, we'll stream it. I really thought I'd fall asleep earlier, but uh, I did not. I fell asleep pretty late. So I have had very little sleep. So I'm gonna stream this, and then we're going to, I'm going to go back to bed, have my day, get a little bit more sleep, have the rest of my day. This is like really relaxing music. And then uh, at 7 p.m. Central time, <clears throat> I had quite a lot of work last night. Oh no. Have you not slept yet? Um, at 7 p.m. tonight, I'm gonna go live streaming uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Uh, finally. Playing it with, um, Mick and JoJo so far. But it'll be open to other players that also have it on Switch. And I know Mick will be co-streaming it. Very excited for that. I need to get my college transcripts together by August so I can attend college again. I thought you were moving. Oh, you're attending college back home? I think. I am moving. Right. College there. Got it. I know this isn't up yet, but... Refresh anyway. Some stuff is already leaking, yeah. Uh, I just checked Twitter. I'll just pull it up over here. Persona 5 Royal, Persona 4G, and P3P coming to Nintendo Switch on October 21st. Please tell me they're not cloud versions. That would be hilarious. I'm gonna submit my my resignation in a couple days. That's gotta be a little bittersweet. Oh wow. The Persona website is down? Nineteen forty two, that's when I was born. We know the disaster of the cloud version of Kingdom Hearts. Yippee! Yeah. Welcome in Zathoa and Stoic Rose ninety four. Yeah, the persona thing seems to have leaked what three minutes early? It's like this isn't a live stream, it's just that they're putting up the video of the direct. So, follow me. Thanks for the follow. So it's like all of the announcements are going to go live right at 8, but I think this one was just slightly early. Okay. I don't know if it's just my internet or if it's... 
YouTube and Twitter that are incredibly slow. Come on. Oh yes, I, this is very much how this website is supposed to look. Fine, finally though, you know, like god damn. Brand website, yes. Honestly, the best website. Yeah, I, I, I like when a website has everything on top of each other. No, no background. So October 21st on sale. That's not, I mean, that's still four months away, but like, it'd be nice if maybe they spaced him out a little bit and we got P3P earlier. I will play these on stream. Probably. <laughs> I definitely want to play at least P5 and P3. I watched the anime for... I watched both the animes for P4. But it's like, I feel like I know what that one's like a lot, but I still think it'd be worth playing. It's just like, they're so long. Verticality, yo. Feels like the 90s again. Yeah, totally. They're just doing a throwback website here. The GeoCities. Oh, they updated it. I kind of want them to remake their older Shin Megami Tensei games, playing Digital Devil Saga, and it's pretty good, despite the high encounter rates. Yeah, it's like... I, I don't... I don't... disbelieve that the Shin Megami series is interesting. I just personally don't play a lot of JRPGs because I have a bad attention span, and I have, like, probably ADHD undiagnosed. Um, so it's hard for me to, like sit down and play such a long JRPG. Having it on the Switch would really help, but then it's like, Persona is the one that I've been really interested in. Someone got me interested in it, like, a really long time ago. So... I, like, I've been, I've been waiting for it to come out on a system that I have, and then I got the PS4 recently, but... Like, can you just put it on the Switch so I can play it on the toilet and stuff? It's like, I want to stream these games, but also, I'll probably play them somewhat offline, too. Hi, I'm Fish. I'm gonna skip the best Persona game. The thing is, I watched- I know the story already! And I totally called it, by the way. If we go- if we go and find the person I watched it with, we'll be like, hey, did Fish call it? And they would be like, yeah, he did. I mean, I think P2 is the best story-wise, story personally. Is this thing fucking going up? It's been three minutes? Probably not gonna be super wowed by this with Monster Hunter expansion in two days and finally having Silk Song news. Oh yeah, there it is. It went up two minutes ago, it just wasn't on that page. P3P is the uh, Persona game I've played the most, and by that I mean it's the only one I've played more than like three minutes of. Same! Um, I actually had it on a friend's uh, PSP that I borrowed forever, and I had a really hard time sitting down to play it. For some reason I was just like, ah, oh, the PSP is... Uh, but then I played Mega Man Powered Up like crazy. Portable 3 is the better of the threes, so I've heard. Uh, and P4 I feel like is... well... I don't know, it'd be nice if they did like an updated version which had, um... Like the F FES stuff, the Fez stuff, short for festival, I learned. Uh, and the stuff from P3P, but I really like the PSP, so it's, yeah. I Like, I didn't dislike the PSP. For me, it was just, I don't know. The pick up and play was a little bit harder for me, but it's also just because I wasn't super into JRPG. And... Mega Man is like, oh, I can just play that for like five minutes and it's whatever. Vita better. True. Nice to have extras, but at least we know more about the la the last student and we get to know our boy buddies in the group. I don't know shit about that game. We're gonna... We'll learn... We'll learn together. Doing a monitor reset. When mankind is consumed by is this persona and the land falls into chaos we know how the levels are the abyss, 
shall rise from the earth. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Is this? Both beast and man have more in common than they think. Is this Monster Hunter? Whoa, it's Persona. I, I thought it was Monster Hunter. But then I was like, has just said Monster Hunter, it's, the update's coming out in like two days, so. But they like to do that kind of stuff too, so who knows. That's Batman Dragon. At first I thought Fire Emblem. If only that was a third party game. <laughs> we are now making Fire Emblem third party. And these wandering flames shall feed the beast. And this is Rise, right? Wandering flames. I see you found your home. I tried to get into this, but I played the demo and it just didn't hit for me again. I think if I was gonna play Monster Hunter, it would have been Stories 2. Rise expansion, Sunbreak, yeah. I love Monster Hunter, I have too many figs. I think that checks out for you, Zathoa. You get the, uh, the dragons. I wish I liked it. The kind, it's like, playing it, I was like, I understand the appeal. It just does not appeal to me. And I wish it did, because it would be such a fun type of game to play with friends. But it just... I could just not get into it. This is all I'm streaming for the first half of July. Let's go! Free title update, they're renaming the game. Monster Hunter Arise. I recognize this duck guy. That thing. It's so funny to me because it's like these monsters look so similar. The Z ba Basil Juice, but I know that whenever they show one off, people are like, "Oh my God, it's Nargakuga!" Like, okay. I want them to keep Monster Hunter Stories alive as a sub series of Monster Hunter. Yeah. Because uh, Stories 2 and Rise came out around the same time, right? I think they are. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's this guy. Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our public This year. Development hey, what's up, Joel? How's it going? Okay, I'm also sleepy. After I watch this, I'm going to go back to sleep. The there are a couple of new things in that. All right, nice. Begins. Uh, is this Persona? Is AD, machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. Mm -hmm. Now, with an android squad called Yorha, the human is this cloud version against these machine life form invaders. Glory, what the fuck? That's what I thought it was from the beginning. And a scanner android. I didn't think it was that from the uh, sword in the ground, but then when it showed like one landscape shot, I was like, is that near? I was like, oh, it, it's not near. Machine life forms in conflict with androids. What the fuck? This is awesome. What will come of this I've wanted to play this so bad. I have it on Steam, but this will be so much easier to stream. If it's not a cloud version, too. This version of the award-winning Near Automata comes with previously released content, including additional modes and costumes. New costumes huh, okay, exclusive then. to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. 
Reclaim Earth. Personally, I like the first Nier more, but this is cool. This game is like super highly lauded. It came out in 2017, and I, like, this is awesome. This is awesome, and it's not. It doesn't say cloud version anywhere. Holy shit! Wow, I was not expecting that. Who makes that? I should probably know. I forget. Some story game, who cares? No. Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story. This is not Hotel Park Alone. On puzzle adventure games. See a hotel. I think it's Hotel Barcelona. I don't think Suda is making that. Yet. Solve the enigma of Lorelai and the laser eyes. eyes. Jinx for consoles on Nintendo Switch. He's got to stop year. talking. I jinxed him. This looks rad as fuck. I want to play this. Familiar faces. Oh, for Soda too. Flash in <laughs> these games. Bomberman. A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Super Switch. Super Bomberman this R2. Time, a bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast their way to treasure chests, while one defending player tries to hold them off. Set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. You can also Literally. And share your own battle stages. Oh, cool. Have a blast. When Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Since this isn't being live streamed, I, I'm going to feel free to pause this. This is so funny because we were I was talking with my friend yesterday about what Konami could show. He was like, they only have like one franchise that anyone cares about, right? Like Castlevania. I'm like, no, I mean Metal Gear and Bomberman, but I doubt we'll see anything Bomberman. Here it is. 10 Eat. Mega Man Battle Network games what? released on the Game Boy Advance system are coming to Nintendo Switch. Holy shit! That's huge. That is a that is a lot of games. I uh I've been wanting to play Battle Network. I've never gotten into it, but good lord. And you get both versions of the ones that had versions. That's really cool. I mean, you should, but like get to choose. That's really neat. Oh my god, it's Persona. Uh bring back story mode and let me earn bomber peeps. Yeah, Bomber, Super Bomberman R, I was like, I feel like it's not a great Bomberman game, but it's still neat that it's there. Uh, it'd be really neat if Konami put a poppin' music game on the console again. Oh, it's not Star Force. One thing at a time, alright. This is awesome. I'll get this. I've been wanting to play these. This collection includes a gallery with over 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full next year? You said this collection was this year. Volume 1 and Volume 2 each sold separately. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Legacy Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2 each sold separately. Why do they have to do that with the Mega Man collection, collection things? They gotta release them as two separate things. It's like, just Logic put them all in one collection! You fucking dickheads! Across the series. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2 each sold separately. Um, but that's really cool. People have been wanting that for so long. I told my fiance about the Battle Network, and he's like, "Get it? I need it." <laughs> uh, this is like, oh, I forgot its name. They need to get as much money. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. What the the font? Why is volume it like that? And volume two. Damn, which font? Oh yeah, I noticed that too. The font down at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know why they don't just keep the original one. Like the original one doesn't look great. Like I can also tell it's like, like some of it looks a little bit weird. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, this looks like a friend, I think, actually. Also, Nala is here. Uh, physical will have all of them. Digitally is split. I don't know. A remake of Pac -Man World is no fucking way is this Pac-Man world. No fucking way is this Pac-Man world. No fucking way! Someone wake up stir-fry. 
Go at stir fry. Oh, they really did. They really did. Fucking erase Ms. Pac-Man from it. They redid the cutscenes. We were just talking about this on stream. We were like, well, they can't do Pac-Man World because Ms. Pac-Man is so integral to it. They would have to do a lot more work, and I don't think they're willing to do that. They did. They redid his child and this child. Kidnapped. To rescue them, he said... Oh. All right, hang on. I'm going to try to stop pausing. Soon. Pac-Man's family has been kidnapped. To rescue them, he sets off for Ghost Island. Even this will be neat, though. I've been wanting it. to play these. Trounce enemies with pack dots. The Reveral, the Butt Bounce, and a giant Pac-Man? From high-speed chases to galactic escapades. I wonder, uh... All sorts of zany I wonder if they'll do the other ones, and I wonder if they ever get the rights figured out, if they'll patch and put Ms. Pac-Man in there. It feels so weird. It's so weird. Incredible journey. This actually looks rad. That's really cool. Those games are, like, fondly remembered. way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. A fawn and a wolf cub. In I know how this emotional sounds. Adventure, I watched. These unlikely friends must coordinate uh, and use their individual strengths to solve environmental it's puzzles too early. and navigate through the fox and the hound. Blanc is a completely text-free oh. story with local and online co-op. I'm seeing play, some text. So all oh, players can enjoy it. Oh, that's neat. I want to be the wolf, and I'll probably win. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. Look, it's already eaten the fawn. What the hell? Launching as a console exclusive Very artsy. on Nintendo Switch, February 2023. That looks neat. Arr, a swashbuckling adventure returns. I've only played the GBA version, so seeing an actually good version Hiding looks weird. Yeah. Blood. Is this like adrenaline? Fucking uh, guy Bush. Skybrush three board game? A dozen scrapbooks. My brain. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My yeah, Monkey Island. Skybrush three board. Yeah. And this is a story about the time. I knew it. I just was like. The secret of Monkey Island. Had, I think this had already been announced somewhere. What do we think about the art style? Guy brush three wood. Oh, it's a new one. Not a remake. <laughs> the art style sure does look. Island six minute walk. Return to Monkey Island. Well, that's really cool. I wish it wasn't like puppet, yeah, like paper dolls art style. Return yeah, to Monkey Island launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch. It, which this year, a bit weird. Next, we have some new. I know I said I wasn't going to pause it, but it looks like. Looks like the quality just dropped. News about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. Super Mario Smash Brothers, here we go. For a nope. adventure in the latest Mario so I knew this was going to be here. Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Their goal? Take the energy possessed by sparks. These mysterious creatures. I do not now like the sparks. Set out to save them. The first game was really good. I still need to play the Donkey Kong DLC. Proportions awaits. You'll initiate Yo, it's Persona. When you encounter You're funnier than me. You should be streaming. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. 
Pretty neat, huh? Okay. Let's start with Mario. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. Now select Rabbit Rosalina and have her dash into another. Super Mario Galaxy 4. Next, Rabbit Luigi. One more dash, and now Disruptor time! Why don't you jump off? Can you not jump off of? First, then the weapon. Three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew! That concludes his turn. Pew pew! Last but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. I love them trying to make. Team up with an ally oh, I'm so sorry. Jump. Oh, why it's chugging so much right now. I don't know why, uh... It's hard for them to In make, position, uh, turn-based sound interesting, I think. Okay, our turn's over. Oh, my OBS is, like, eating complete shit. I am so sorry. Give me one second here. See if we can fix anything else. Not putting it on any lower setting. I'll uh, I'll refresh. Part twelve fifty six. Close the Persona website. I, I you know that's bogging us down here. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew. That concludes his turn. The Super Mario Galaxy we deserved. Last but not least, Rabbit. No, it's uh, Team it's OBS I think, or jump. it's my internet. Get position, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover and Where's you Bob might be safe. If you don't, it won't. Yeah, I think it is my internet. I apologize. Pretty. All right, we've got the floor again. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Dash toward the bomb. And if you chuck it over... Oh, neat. The key to victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield. The first game was really, really good. Wait, is that Bowser? And he's joining the team? Mario plus That's pretty neat. Bowser wasn't even in the original game. The Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Check out Ubisoft's special showcase tomorrow for more details. Oh, Mario Ubisoft is having a thing tomorrow. I won't stream that. The Shadow Self website is holding you back. Yeah, it, it was. We hope you're looking forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbits. Let's take a look at more headlines. There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes every time you enter them. Recruit allies called Lilliputs to challenge the enemies lurking around every corner. String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat both. Is this Persona? It does Little look Noah, it does Zion look like Persona. Paradise launches a Nintendo Switch later today. I have never heard of this. Seems neat. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I like I I don't have any way to fix it. It'll be... We're getting there, though. You'll build railway systems to efficiently transport... Oh, my God. ...and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony. Complete various tasks to prepare each shipment before it's delivered to its destination. <laughs> Your strategies... It'll will knock it off. <laughs> ...based on various factors, like the number and length of trains to run, which resources... It's the last time you get to make the joke, so... ...and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Rail grade, steam rolls onto Nintendo this looks Switch neat, but also a little dystopian just because it's Join so... aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest creation, The Legend of Right. Taking place Aww. in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 pages where you must draw, erase, solve puzzles, and even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. RPG Time, The Legend of Right. Unfold That's really Switch, neat. That's a really cute idea. Begin today on Nintendo e -Shop. That's really, really creative. Spin dash into a new zone. Jesus. 
Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to a mysterious civilization. Oh, this is the Switch version. Here, you can freely dash through a vast It's not zone, this choppy for real. The, it's more fluid, steel. but the resolution you're getting is probably Lock on pretty close at least. I'm so sorry. Away. 13 frames a second. To trigger combos and rack up damage. Like, do I drop to 420p and hope, or 480p and hope that that... I think that's helping a little. Literally Unreal Engine free content in this game. Whoa! Oh! Here we go! And grab keys to progress. Keys? I did you say keys like... The bats from Zelda. Grab keys. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Hyperspace zone or whatever the hell looks neat. Sonic the fuck is that? Dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. That was a lot of new content. I don't think we had seen otherwise though. Live magically alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. I'll pass. Dreamlight Valley was once an idyllic land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony. Until the forgetting turned this dream into a nightmare. Now it's up to you to help need a new computer, residents recover and a new internet memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. Bring the magic back to Dreamlight Valley in this mesmerizing life simulation adventure. Epic Explore Mickey Three, here we go. First realms and forge lasting friendships with heroes and villains alike. This influencer scare me. Yes. To discover and adventures to complete. I'm glad people are coming around on that. Giving them gifts and performing other fun activities. In this world, you can be whoever you dream. This definitely looks like more of a style over substance game. It's fine, but launches on Nintendo Switch September. Epic Mickey One was awesome, actually. Oh no! Don't forget Disney. What's up, Tom? Is that Kingdom Hearts? That was Kingdom Hearts. you on the go. Live alive. On July 22nd, this game looks so fucking cool. I don't play JRPGs, but time periods and god damn, I'm away. tempted. Now in HD 2D. If you haven't seen more of this game, demo with the start of three chapters, go look. Imperial China, Twilight of Edo, Japan, and the distant future will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Oh shit! The data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. That's awesome. Doraemon, Nobi, and their friends land he doesn't on have a ears. planet and decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming, plow the fields, harvest crops. Yo, live alive! That game fucking the rules! Yo! You can even use Doraemon's Demo available today. To farm in a flash. Relax by living with friends. These 3D 2.5D remasters are pretty. They should keep fishing. doing them. And with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. I know the um, Shin-chan game is also getting localized and put on Switch. On Switch this year. I wonder if they'll announce that, like... World of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay oh, yeah. Minecraft Legends. Yeah, I was gonna... I a forgot what it was called. Surrounded by rich nature. This was announced at the Microsoft thing? Dimension. I don't think it was announced that it was coming to the Switch. Team up with allies and fight against this monstrous force threatening the world. What secrets await in this new yet familiar universe? Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Sure. It's a treasure hunter's paradise. Two siblings Dragon Quest monsters from around the world. Treasures, that's right. Venture to the realm of Draconia to become legendary. Draconia. In this the flying pig spin-off. You'll recruit a variety of well-mannered monsters to join you Fortnite on a Fortnite 2. What? With their help and with In what way? Finder, I think it looks a, a lot of fun. Yeah. Are a and there are dragon islands. Vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges. Or dangle from a draki to glide over gaping chasms. It, it's like, I, I'm more interested in the Dragon Quest spinoffs just because I know they're not going to be quite as long. I wish JRPGs didn't have to be so fucking long. Oh! X marks the spot when Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th.
I'm gonna get DMCA'd for this. This is not how they're gonna announce Persona. Persona's gotta be the last thing, right? Totally forgot No Man's Sky was coming to the Switch. Yeah, Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, there's Builders, Monsters, Treasures... I don't even know what else. Captain Velvet Meteor, The Jump and Dimensions, Dogzilla. Oh no, why is it sad? Look, there was Dogzilla and then it was sad. Oh! Yeah, Portal 1 was already announced. Oh, so what We're is this? So or was it Portal together. 2? At first, your participation is appreciated and required. They announced this at the last thing? The Portal Companion Collection will be available later today. Oh! I wanted to call it the Why Do You Keep Killing Me Collection. Oh, it's one and two. I can't remember. Let's It'd be really cool if they announced Left 4 Dead. Monster. I know I'm just doing the more, more, more thing, but I would really love Farm. another Farm. reason to play Left 4 Dead. Forge friendships in a new fantasy world. This Persona? Welcome to Leafy. Good a games. I enjoyed the co-op experience of the second. Yeah, Portal Your story begins is fantastic. I don't have a much reason to go replay it RPG. to get it on Switch, but Do a super fun. great games if you haven't played them. Cook and craft items. Are you okay? Because I'm a and potato. Through the fields to collect materials. While meeting townsfolk along the I'm way. not gonna lie, when I see a game that looks flow, cool and then somebody hits something and numbers show up on the screen, I immediately However, lose some interest. They will give way to the season of death. Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. Getting like Crystal Chronicle vibes. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. Where's the Moogle with the chalice? I like understandable numbers. Final Fantasy 13 numbers in the 100Ks was ridiculous. The of the village depends yeah. On I mean... Begin like, you could put a in decimal in there too, but it's just like, Switch why? November 4th. I do love Crystal Chronicles. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, so this is Persona. Mission. Oh! Done. Nobody yeah. knew this was coming. Coming at ya! I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. And today, I'm bringing along this a VTuber rig. Secret video. I hope you're ready. And it is Royale. Just look, everyone, keep your eyes peeled for the word cloud. Cloud version. What the fuck is this? Well, how awkward, right? That's not all. Let's keep the ball rolling, huh, Teddy? <laughs> right on. Nice, but which character is worse? Up. Okay, everyone. Check this out. Interesting they got the voice actors to uh, come back for this. I don't know what the announcements were like uh, for Xbox and... Uh, Better bear leave it! Persona 4 Golden and Persona uh, 3 Portable Persona, are also coming! Whatever. For Xbox and PlayStation were like... But oh, that's neat that they had the voice actors come, come back in for this. It'll probably just be a little compromise. I don't even know. So Persona 5 is coming out first? That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. The other mouth moved better. Yeah, it didn't didn't look great. E2 remake, listen. It took us fucking five years. It took five years to get Persona on the Switch after Joker was announced for Smash. Well, that, that was, that was, 
you know, that was pretty good. There were some, there were some, honestly, some big surprises in there still, despite everything else that we knew about it. I'm gonna refresh. I don't know why my internet is choking so much. I'm so sorry about that. I'm not on Discord. I'm just, wa I'm not even watching a live stream. Would you stop? Could you stop trying to play? I don't want to play Xenoblade. Stop trying to get me into Xenoblade. Fucking Nintendo. Fucking Nintendo over here. Trying to force me. Oh, they have a Treehouse Play. What? They have a Treehouse Plays for Live Alive. Did they announce that in the thing? I just missed it? Morgana was running on the Switch instead of the PC for that announcement. Play Xenoblade! They're like, go. Play it now. Come on. Xenoblade. I still want Grim, Grim, I, Grim Grim or once more. Isn't that coming out or not? Oh, now we're running at even lower. I'm putting it back on seven. We're just going to seek through this real quick. Uh, if anyone has anyone I should raid, feel free to let me know because I'm going to end before too long. And I'll stream later tonight. Uh, they come rushing here. Turn this down. To and then we'll come back. Don't forget, we're coming back later tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time to play Ninja Turtles on stream. I'm playing with JoJo and Mick Tastic. Uh, and Mick will be, I think, co streaming it. Uh, and then there will be open slots if someone else wants to join us. My morning, likely. Hey, Mick, yes. Alright. Yeah. Monster Hunter. Very cool. Very pog. Focusing on Nintendo Switch. A de wait, there was a demo of the update? Interesting. This this blew me away. I saw this and I didn't know what it was. I was like, battle to reclaim her. Okay, that could be literally anything. Like, so everything Japanese does this. Give me Stories 3. Stories 2 just came out this year! To reclaim Earth begins. So it looks kind of familiar. And then from, like, from this, I was like, I don't... I thought Metal Gear with the giant things coming out. I Because I haven't seen much of this. It was right there. I was like, is this... If you go back and watch the video, I'm like... Is this... Near? So tired, I was like, is this 2B game? And then there I was I was like What? That's nuts. Okay, I need to go shower. Go shower. I'm very pumped for this, and it's very strange because there are like three colors in this game and all of them are the contrast is turned all the way down. It's so bland like bland and bleak looking which is the point but like ugh. there we got red red and yellow both on screen what will come of this bloodless battle this is awesome that's not a cloud version and it looks good version of the award-winning near automata comes with previously released content including additional that's awesome costumes that's so cool. New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Reclaim Earth in Near Automata, the end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. You have no idea the want for me. It isn't enough. That's super cool. October 6th. Yeah, this game was very strange. Sorry. Phone popping off here. Super Bomberman R2? Like, Super Bomberman R was alright. I haven't played a ton of Bomberman, which I would really like to correct. I'd really like if they put the Bomberman 64 games on Switch Online. But, uh... I don't... It, it, it felt a little, like, janky. This new castle mode sounds interesting. But I'm not, I was never crazy about the art style. Okay, that looks better at least. Giving it like realistic shadows and stuff just makes it too... 
10 Mega Man battle next. This was fucking nuts. Like, this had been rumored for a while, but like. Still, goddamn. That's really cool. Control Mega Man in grid based combat and use battle chips to gain devastating abilities. Yeah, it does. The text updates do look weird. 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. I've always wanted to try Battle Network, though this is like the perfect way. Launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume Is it just me or is it like smoothed out? Volume 2 each But like so I don't know. Looks a little looks a little weird. A remake of I cannot fucking believe this. Soon. We talked about this so much on stream. We're like, well, they won't do it because Ms. Pac-Man is so integral and they'd have to redo. But this is a full-on remake. I wonder if they'll change the story at all. I don't know. I don't. The new woman's name is Pac Mom, which I assume is Pac Man's wife still? Very. It's all very strange. Monkey Island, a game I called Guybrush Threepwood Game. We have a lot of time to this too. This was already known about. Oh, it's being to Monkey Island. Uh, published by Devolver. On Nintendo Switch this year. And made by Lucasfilm. Neat. We have some news. Pac Mayhem. See, that would be even. That would be perfect. This game is gonna be great. Like. The first one was so good. I heard really good things about the Donkey Kong DLC, which I have, but I still haven't played. But I'll try to play that before this comes out. The key to victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battle to put rockets onto the October. A lot of stuff coming out in October. Near this and Persona 5 R. During a storm, layered ruins. A lot of stuff coming out in October, and none of it short. Got train game. This is really neat. This is like super neat. For a long time, I've thought it'd be really neat if someone made a game that was um like an LCD Tiger Electronics game, you know, because like or like a Game and Watch game where everything has to be, everything can only be in a space once, and was able to tell a really like a compelling narrative in that way. And this is like shades of that, obviously, but like. This is this is super 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 creative. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 pages, where you must draw, erase, solve puzzles, and even. And it's like is it a, it's a different flavor of like a and D type thing too, because it's RPG time. grabbing onto that child imagination. Onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Great, great. My birth month is full of stuff. Let's go. Honestly, even this looks better. Action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to a mysterious civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone, taking full advantage. I don't know why they were so bad at showing off this game, but they were. They truly were. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. It does look worse on the Switch, but it doesn't look as bad as I was thinking it was going to. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's combat is a bit weird, but you know, whatever. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Cyberspace. Look at that. This is what special zone called Cyberspace. Like this first shot, this looks like Sonic Adventure like esque. But it's also like got that just like fuck it. But that's what I mean that's what Sonic Adventure has as well. Take on challenges at supersonic speeds. Green Hill Zone, obviously, gotta have that.
I'm, I'll be interested to see how this is received. I'm not convinced to buy it yet. Is this like a human with white hair? I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's some animal thing, but... This holiday. October. That'll be the holiday. Halloween. Truly, truly could not care less about this. Live Alive demo today. That's really cool. Doraemon. Oh, they didn't announce Shin-chan. Weird. Minecraft. Dragon Quest Treasures. This game. I don't think anyone I know is streaming. I'm probably just going to end then. Um, after this. Portal came coming out today. That's pretty neat. This game. This was... Like, it's neat the effort they put into this, but it, this announcement was so fucking awkwardly done. Yeah, rendering and encoding lag. I'm having both of those. I really, I have to assume, yeah, because my CPU usage is not that high. I was worried about that. My computer just like not being able to handle streaming anymore. <laughs> this is super neat. I'd really like to play them in order, just to like, because I feel like the gameplay is supposed to get better with each entry. P3P, it's like, going around the dungeon, I was just like, this is kind of a slog. I'm not really getting like, a satisfying experience out of this. All for so, that was neat. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Thank you for I'm I'm excited. I'm gonna end though. Uh, don't forget, we'll be back later tonight at 7 p.m. Central. So in ten hours. Oh my god. Back in ten hours to stream Ninja Turtles. I'll do uh, an announcement tweet uh, around that time, but. I will catch you all there. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for chatting. And, uh, well, it's hard to go back for sure. Five is by far the best entry in pretty much every regard. Oh, the Min Men reveal. Good, I'm glad we're watching that. Um, yeah, so I'd, re I'd really like to play those in order, but it seems like they're doing Persona 5 first, maybe? It just says coming soon for the other one. And it's like, well, the other games are like four months away, so is soon sooner? Uh, I'll have it in the background when I work. Haha. <laughs> For Persona, I disagree. Uh, I, like, story, I think everyone's up, like, it's up in the air for how people feel about it. But I've heard that, like, the gameplay, like, it gets smoother with each entry to a certain degree. And this game's fully voiced, too. I'm really, I really do want to get this game. I wish... One of the few games that I'm like, I wish that it weren't like 50 or 40 bucks. Uh, but also that's because I'm poor right now. Feel free to donate if you'd like to. Um, but it looks neat. There's so many fucking JRPGs coming out this year for this way. Yoko Shimomura! I think they did a treehouse thing. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this was neat. I'll be back later tonight. Hopefully our internet will be uh, working better then. Uh, but I will catch you all later. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for chatting. 
Thanks for the subs. Uh, and we will catch you later. Have a good day. Until then. Yeah. <laughs> and we're getting our first lick.